I feel, you know, the time you take away from being intimate and conversating and talking with me, that's cheating. So, you know, internet conversations, texting, talking on the phone, it's just we don't have that. We don't want that, you know, I just, it's just too much. Bottom what up, Heavy here. Just finished listening to the entire interview um, that um, this channel did on former number one pick Joe Smith's wife, Miss Keisha. And it was hard for me to get through it because... I feel like they get more conversation and attention than I did, so... So Ooh. your get back was to make the OnlyFans account or you already no, had my, that? No, I already had that. He just did a no. My get back was putting it online. Wait, but why oh didn't you tell God. him about it? You didn't think somebody was going to eventually... No, because I've had it for over, like, a year, you know? Um, I just really wasn't active on it too often. Like, I'll put a little picture here and there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? For Yasmin, you know, just to keep her a little alive, whatever. But um, I love all these different people. <laughs> these different names. Because I'm a lot of different people. I'm right. a little, you know. I know you got a little toxic because you walked in here and said Grand Rising. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta be toxic. Oh, that's not toxic. I think it's a very positive affirmation. I don't no, really, really though, because I'm loving the way they quickly psychoanalyzed her and said she's toxic. And you're going to see she's clearly toxic. And it's going to be clearly shown in this interview. So I love what the interviewers are doing already. I feel like this every day we get up and we rise but we're not mourning anyone's death. If you, you know, I don't want to mourn my day. I don't want to feel. I like how people are so philosophical, so metaphysical, but can't understand simple disrespect, can't understand toxic, can't understand when they are wrong and that they should admit when they are wrong so we can move on. Man, let's keep going. I'm bad about the day that I'm walking into. Yeah. And this life can often make you feel like that. So why start the day greeting someone with good morning? Ain't nothing good about morning. Mm. Mm, especially when you're making a lot of guys rise. <laughs> hey, hey, pew, pew, so. pew. There it is. And she thinks that that's funny. It's not. You're married. And this wasn't a deal you made with your husband. It'd be different if he was... You know, like a that Adam dude who, who knows his wife is in the adult industry. But in this case, Joe and her admits that that part of her life was supposed to be closed. So it's not funny that she's causing a grand rising in these men on purpose by showing herself. You, you have <laughs> other businesses other than because OnlyFans is considered a business. Yeah, that's a business. Yeah, so it's a have... revenue stream. Right. Um, I have Cocktail Arrow with Kiss, which is a bartending service. I have Major Movers and Cleaning, which is a moving and cleaning service. I have, um, oh, there's some, oh, Puppy Friend Social Club, which I launched um, right prior to COVID. Uh, we had like a big launch here in Atlanta. I was on the news and everything. Let's fast forward this. I together, mm -hmm. you know, and um. That night I met him, and that's what it was. I, like, I literally broke up with my boyfriend in Germany and said, pack my boxes and send them to America. Wow. And he sent them? He sure did. So when you met Joe. And the whole, but the whole thing, like, yeah, and he kept taking care of me while I was with Joe. Like, when we needed help, my, my dude in Germany was always there, hoping that I'd probably you come back. You're in the wrong business. You need to be teaching the game. <laughs> right. But I'm saying I am giving lessons. There's counseling available, and you can get, oh, get she's my like, manager. Actually, I do have a business where we give the <laughs> I, We're starting now giving the game because people are asking for consultations like how do you start businesses overseas how do you do this so if you want to know that too honey girl i got you how to I keep your I man really away from a bitch like me how to, <laughs> how to keep your man from a chick like her actually she's admitting that she's toxic that she should not be dealt with she's admitting it she's telling us and it's other women that's telling us too but i know men we've been given these rosy colored glasses to view women through and a lot of men don't want to admit it, but we have to so we can start re-socializing our youth in a different way to stay away from this. Because clearly she's telling us she is not to be dated, not to be married, not to be dealt with. No, she cannot be trusted. No, she's only here to take whatever she can take from you she's admitting it and i know it's just so hard to see because 
I went through the same conditioning, the same socialization process where everything a woman does is good and whatever bad that happens is because of the man, no matter what. A man is just supposed to take whatever evil, whatever comes his way, is supposed to just suck it up and be a man. Being a man means taking whatever crap the world throws at us and just taking it and and you can't lash back out at the world no we're gonna lock you up or kill you if you do that as a man but with women you know they will not be touched they they are hardly even thrown in prison for some of the things that they do nor are they taken to jail or arrested at the same rates as men which allows them to get away with so much more and allows us to be viewed as the monsters let's keep going and the first the basketball husband right yes let's talk about it well let me ask you this because you mentioned that you left yasmin in new york right yeah and then you came back after being in germany and then you met joe and then part of the, in your argument with joe was well you knew who you was when you met me were you right. referring to yasmin i was referring to yasmin because he who he knew who yasmin was before i told him who yasmin and was for the people that don't know explain who yasmin was yasmin penn davis is an adult video star from the 80 late 80 or 89 is when i started my career mm-hmm. and so 89 in 2006 is when I did my career. My- see, see, she's admitting that Yasmin is gone, and now Miss Keisha is here to marry Joe. She's a- a- admitting that 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 part of her life was over. Um, Yasmin the Davis thing, and she only has 52 titles, honey. She's not loose, okay? That's a long. So you know that that's a lot of years. <laughs> Because that was my next question because uh, body count seems to be the No, topic. my body count is very low. Sorry. Did you count, did you I, I don't it? consider, okay, my personal, I, I just talked to Joe about that about a little while ago when we were arguing. I was like, my personal body count is low. I don't consider work. It don't matter. Listen to this logic. It doesn't matter. Of course, she has to say that so that then she can say she doesn't care because she can carp compartmentalize everything she can section herself off from other parts of herself and only deal with what she says she's dealing with but clearly this is not true but it is true because you only create these different personalities so that you can deal with the truth with the harsh reality that you did these things that society says you shouldn't do all right and it's hard to deal with i'm not demeaning her for being a adult star do what you do but don't in the same breath say that it doesn't matter and it doesn't affect you it does which is why you create these other personalities so you can rationalize your behavior she's trying to rationalize she's trying to say that in her mind it's okay because of this so let's keep going because it, it gets her logic gets ridiculous and Thank God for these interviewers. They they're gonna push back on her logic. They're gonna push back on her logic. Oh, work That's bodies don't count. The work bodies don't count. don't count. No. See, you hear him? So 52 don't count. These bodies don't count. You hear him? He's pushing back. He's gonna push back some more because she's gonna spew some more delusion. So you count the other bodies and then you count the two it's two different bodies for one for kiss. No. And the other Keisha, one for Keisha, Keisha, me. The woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, her body count is low. Okay, but the porn star. But the porn star, you know, she, she's outside. outside. Yeah, she's outside. Okay. Only problem. Oh, uh, here, here we go. Here we go. She's pushing back. She's about to push back on this delusional logic. Here we go. This fallacious delusional logic. She's about to push back on it. Here we go. But that is just two different names, but the same body. <laughs> it don't matter. Two different names with the same body, and she's about to say it don't matter because she's rationalizing it. It's two different personas. Mm. Okay. So you know you have to, you can't, you cannot uh, t- like that. That whole industry is a big mental thing, you know. And you have to separate yourself from the. So how does it really make you feel? Are you upset that the backlash you're getting, or because you seem pretty like free and you don't mind what people see? So you I mean, mind what people say? I've honestly never given up. You know about what anyone says or thought i would never have done that in the first place you know i do feel bad about see i disagree this is why you had a different personas this is why you say the bodies i have in the industry don't count that that shows us she cares or she would say hey all of these bodies can't it doesn't matter what you say that's what i did for my job 
So why would I have to separate it for you to make you feel better why, or, or to make myself feel better? Why, why would she need to feel better about herself if she's cool with what she does? She should not have to separate anything and create these different personas and create all of these different logics up. If she's truly comfortable with what she's doing, think about it. You don't have to go through these lengths if you don't care. You only do it if you do care. And she definitely cares and she knows her husband cares out um how it's affected my relationship um i'm not mad about the pocket but because you're getting more money right, more i'm attention. getting more <clears throat> more money and there's more opportunity like cocktail hour with kiss has like mad people and there it is i keep telling people this is what a society that is that a society that has a foundation of material wealth leisure time and fame if that's the foundation and individualism if those things are the foundation then that's what you're going to see manifest in people's beliefs and behaviors and that's what she's saying she's willing to do whatever for the bag her relationships with people are secondary to leisure time to fame and to money that's the foundation of this society and she exhibits those beliefs and behavior so it doesn't matter how her husband feels how her friends feel how her family feels as, as long as she's getting the bag okay that's the only thing that's honorable to her and a lot of people who uphold these principles of this country they're gonna put money in the pursuit of it above everything else and again i want to thank these interviewers and this channel for pushing back on a lot of this i'm done with this i can't stomach anymore